Hey what's going on guys my name is Jim Fahd in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this beautiful book opening effect using Elementor page builder. I will show you everything step by step so without further ado let's now go inside Elementor page builder. To take a new section let's click on this plus icon here I'm taking the single column structure and first I'm making its height to minimum height and let's set it to 100 VH. And here I'm making its width to 380 pixel. Now go under advanced tab and bind the padding. On the top and bottom I'm adding 40 pixel of padding. Let's now select the column. Go under advanced tab and bind the margin. At the right and left I'm adding 12 pixel of margin. Let's make the padding to 0. And here the Z index I'm making it 1. Now inside of this column click on this plus icon here I'm dragging an inner section widget. Now let's delete one of these inner columns. Now we have only one column within this inner section. Okay here I'm selecting this inner column. Go under its advanced tab and here I'm making the padding to 0. And now I just want to duplicate this inner section so I'm clicking here to duplicate it. So this is our first inner section and this is our second inner section. Now I'm selecting the first inner section and click on this plus icon because I want to add an image widget here. So let's drag the image widget inside of the first inner section. Let's select an image. So basically it would be our book cover. So here I'm selecting this book cover. Click on insert media. I'm making the image size to full and alignment to centered. Go under the style tab. From here I'm making the images width to 100%. The height to 450 pixel, the object fit to cover. As I have made the images height to 450 pixel, that's why let's now select this second inner section, this one, and I'm making its height to 450 pixel. So 450. Now here I also want to make the vertical alignment to middle. Let's now go under the style tab and open the border. Now let's give it a box shadow. I'm just giving the blur value to 70. Okay, let's just keep the blur value to 20. And here I'm making the position to inset. Then let's select this inner column. Go under its advanced tab, unbind the padding. It's already unbinded. So here I'm adding 40 pixel padding at the top and bottom and 25 pixel at the right and left. Now within this inner section I want to add some content so click on this plus icon first here I'm dragging and heading widget and I want it to say Mona Lisa at Dhaka just a random heading okay so here I'm making the alignment to left now go under the style tab because I just want to do a bit of a styling so from here typography I'm making the font size to 20 pixel the font weight to 500 let's make the line height in EM I'm giving it 1.2 and the letter is facing to 0.5. All right, now underneath this heading here, I'm dragging a text editor widget here. I'm pasting some dummy text. Go under the style tab. From here, we can change the text color to hash 111111. Also, do a bit of typography. So from here, I'm making the font size to 15 pixel, line height to 1.4 em, and letter spacing to 0.5. Perfect. So we are done with the layout. Now I want to add the effect. So to add the book opening effect, we need to add some classes very carefully. So first of all, I'm selecting the most outer column, this one. If you're not sure which column you're selecting, you can just right click here and open the navigator. So here we can see we are selecting the main column, not the inner columns. So here select the most outer column this one and give it a class name it would be book. Keep the class name exactly like this otherwise the book opening effect won't work. Next let's select the first inner section this one. Also you can see on the navigator we have selected the first inner section. Go under its advanced tab and here I'm adding another class name it would be book dash open. And here I'm adding z index value to 1. Then let's select the second inner section, this one. Go under its advanced tab and I'm adding another class name. It would be book-text. 
so book dash text class name on the second intersection and on the first intersection the class name would be book dash open and on the most outer column we have added another class name that's book all right let's now select the main section this one from under its advanced tab open the custom css field by the way custom css is only available on elementor pro I will put my Elementor Pro affiliate link in the description. If you purchase Elementor Pro through my affiliate link, I will get a little credit for that. That will help me to continue this YouTube channel and make more interesting tutorials like this. All right, now I will be pasting some CSS snippet here. To get that CSS snippet, we can just simply go to jimfahaddigital.com. I will also put this pages link in the description from this page. Here, if you scroll down, you can see book opening hover effect. I'm just simply copying this CSS snippet from here. Let's copy it, go inside Elementor and paste the CSS snippet in this field. Let's now minimize the bar from left and have a look. So initially, we can only see the book cover and when you hover over on it, we can see the beautiful book opening effect. And also, if you want to control the duration of the book opening time, then let's just open the tab from left. And here at the very top of the CSS snippet, you see it says open time. So by default, I have set the value to one second. But if you want, let's say I'm um, writing here 1.5 second. So now if we hover over on it, you see it's taking 1.5 second to open the book. But actually, I don't want that. I just want to keep it one second. All right, let's now close the navigator. And finally, I wanna check how it's looking on mobile and tablet device. So to check it from here, let's click on the responsive mode icon. First, go to tablet device. Here on the tablet device, it also looks perfect. Now we can go to mobile device. So here, basically, I have removed the effect from mobile device. I have just kept it plain without any effect. Because if we keep the effect, the book will look very smaller and overall the effect won't look good on mobile device. That's why I have disabled the effect by using the custom CSS here. So right now it looks decent on mobile device, looks great on tablet and desktop device. Alright, let's close the responsive mode from top. When you are happy with it, just click on this green update button to save your work. I hope you have learned something new today. If you like it, please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever I will upload a new video on this YouTube channel. And if you want me to help you on your WordPress project or Elementor project, then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com. I will try my best to help you personally. Once again, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I will see you in the next video. For now, bye-bye.